Okay, I'm starting. Uh, forgive me for the late start here. I had to reset the router and it took a while to get going here. Um, let me know if my connection is any better, too. That was the plan. Okay, so we're starting. This is my verbum class. Um, speaking class, you guys can express your opinions. Today we're going to talk about zombies, but philosophical zombies. Should be good. Good day, how are you? Chris? Yeah. Christina? There you go. There you go. Christina, uh, how's my connection? Is it better than it was last class now? It seems better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Good. Good. That's what I wanted. Good. <coughs> so, Christina, oh. what's, what's new? You came in last, late last class, so I didn't get to see how you were doing. I can't what? I said, how are you doing? I didn't get to... In, I didn't get to uh, Ask you how you were doing last class. You came in a little late. No, I was fine, but now I'm a bit disappointed by my English. But I found um, how to consolate me uh, because they, all the others, they have the same tenses as in English, almost the same. And here in Russian, there are only three tenses. Can you imagine how it is difficult for me to? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it, it's, <laughs> it's it's difficult. And Christina, you're, you're doing good. You're doing good. I don't. Um, no, you're you're, I know. you're in an advanced class, so that's got to say something, right? No, here it, it doesn't mean anything. Advanced or not advanced, it depends on you. How what you write there, or it's advanced or not. So. As I, as I could see here on Spanish lessons, mm -hmm. um, so, and and you uh, foreigners, you are always flattering, 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 flattering. Yeah. Flattering, so that's it. You are always flattering, flattering, <laughs> and I don't believe you. Uh, our don't Russian, believe our Russian teachers, they would. Huh? They're mean. They would say, oh, it's horrible. Change this sound. Change that sound. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you say that? Oh, you're making so much, mis so many mistakes. And you, everything is perfect, terrific, fantastic. <laughs> well, no, and I, I no, think I it's, don't believe you. I think it's, it's, I guess as far as, as my, my teaching goes, um, it's, it's certainly difficult because I know what you mean. I um, when I lived in Brazil and was learning Portuguese, right? There were some people that were like, "You're doing great," and I was like, mm, "That's not true at all. I'm not doing great at yeah. all." Right? Yes. Um, I will say for myself, when it, when there's smaller classes, it's easier for me to correct people's um, mm -hmm. problems, right? Um, this class, really, what I want, the goal for my class is for people to be able to express their opinions. In, in English, right? So maybe maybe you've thought about this before in, in Russian, right? And now you have to think about it in English. And it is it's obvious that you're gonna you're gonna try and directly translate or you're gonna have some problems translating from Russian into English. And you're gonna make problems. But that's part of what I want out of my classes is for you guys to be able to think from your native language and you've thought about things like this already, but now you have to say it in English. So you have to you know you have to say it in a different way and it makes you speak and process it in English instead. And so it's, it's obviously you're going to make mistakes, and that's okay. And you've thought about yes, like you're right, but how can, uh, can I know if my mistakes won't stay with me, if I won't repeat the same mistakes? Uh, and so it's, it's obviously you're going to make mistakes, and that's okay. Right. Um, I guess you, you just got to keep practicing, and, then, and I, 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 I want to do better at. Uh, Correcting mistakes here. Carlos, Carlos, you have two windows open, right? So, Carlos, if you could shut down the burbling page so it doesn't echo, that would be great, okay? If not, Carlos, I'm going to have to either mute or kick you out, okay? Carlos, keep yourself on mute until you shut the other page, okay, Carlos? Okay, so we're going to go on here. Um, 
We've got Ben. Ben, how are you? Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm good. Ben, Ben, where are you, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Algeria. Oh, good. Algeria. All right. And uh, why are you learning? I do. Uh, I've never been there, but I know where it's at, right? It's in um, the north of Africa, between Morocco and Tunisia. Right, right, right. Okay. This, is, this is my first lesson here. Oh, welcome. Welcome, Ben. Yeah, That's great. Good. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. Okay, and why are you learning English, Ben? Uh, in Algeria, the first language is Arabic, after is French, and uh, English is the third uh, language. Because okay, so it's, it's very difficult to learn it. Okay. okay. Well, good. I, learn it. Good, I okay. practice time to time. Okay. This is good. This is good. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys, I'm, I'm going to try and hurry here. i got a late start, but I want to introduce everyone. Welcome, everyone. Antonio, Antonio, how are you? Can you speak, Antonio? Or are you just listening? Antonio, I can't hear you, Antonio. Okay. Well, Antonio, if, if you get your mic fixed, I'll come back to you. But, but welcome in, Antonio. Oh, there you now, go. Can, can you hear me? I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Good. Uh, sorry, the connection was uh, slow. That's okay. Antonio, where are you from? I'm from Spain, good. but uh, but now I'm living in Argentina. Oh, good! Okay, great, great. great. Well, welcome, welcome, Antonio. Okay, thank you. Then we've got uh, Calvin. Calvin, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Eric? Good. I can't complain, Calvin. It's a good day. Let's yeah. See. And where are you from? I'm from China. Perfect, Calvin. I'm glad you could join us. Let's see. I'm glad to. Thank you. Then we've got uh, Ch uh, Chiara. Is that correct, Chiara? Is it Chiara? Maybe it's uh, Chiara Della. Maybe Chiara. Okay, I can't hear you, Chiara, if you're speaking. Yeah, I can't hear you. Try, try and fix your audio. Okay, she's gone. She's gone. back. Okay. Um, also, I, I'm hearing an echo. I believe it's coming from you, Calvin. Calvin, if you've got two windows open, a burbling page open, and a uh, hangout page, close the burbling page. Okay. Are you sure it's me? I. Th it may not be you. I just thought it was. So everyone oh, okay. else. Yeah, I have closed that that one, but uh, okay. I don't know why. So maybe, I, just, I'm maybe just muted myself. Yeah, it could be if you don't have micro uh, headphones set, that could do it too. But I think you're fine. If I hear it again, we'll, we'll go back. So let's see. We've got Enns. Enns, how are you? Let's see. Enns, Enns. Lashmi, it's better. There we go. It sounds much better. Okay. Lashmi, Lashmi. Lashmi? Lashmi? Yes. Okay, well, we'll do, uh, we're not getting a response. I'll have to come back here. Then we've got uh, Gianluca. Yeah, hello. What's that? Hi. Okay, Gianluca, where are you from? I'm Switzerland. I'm where? Switzerland. Oh, great, great, good, okay. All right, and why are you learning English? Well, because he, I, I want to move to London. Mm -hmm. Son, son. Okay, well, good, good. Well, welcome. Let's see. And then we've got um, Manal. Welcome back, Manal. Thank you. Perfect. And then we've why got. All, all, why all, uh, all people want to go to US and England and I can't go there? How come you can't? Why can't you? <laughs> no, um, eh, no chance. No chance. Come visit me, Manal. <laughs> okay, we've got, we've got uh, Maria Jose. How are you today, Maria? I'm doing great. And you? Good, good. Can't complain. Welcome to class. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay. I like zombies, so I can't miss your class today. Good. I, I'm feeling bad here because I think the zombies we're going to talk about are not 
the zombies. No, zombies. yeah, 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 I know <laughs> that. But you, you, hear, you have heard about the voodoo, ATM voodoo? The, the, the Haitian, Haitian zombies? Yeah. Yeah, I have heard of that. I don't know a lot about that. You might have to okay. tell me more. Okay, okay. Maybe later I can tell you something about it. Yeah, yeah, we like that. Okay. And then we've got uh, Wolf. Wolf, how are you? Welcome. Thanks. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, sorry, sorry if I made it short for some people in the introduction. Let's go ahead and let's get started here because I started late and I apologize. So again, today we are going to be talking about zombies, right? And now there is the zombie term, right? Um, but we're going to be talking about a different type of zombie. These are philosophical zombies. They're not as exciting, but they are very interesting, okay? So um, let me show you what a zombie is, a philosophical zombie, okay? So first, here we have just the normal zombies that you may think of, right? Okay, now let me show you a philosophical zombie right there, okay? This is a philosophical zombie, okay? Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. no, but what I mean by this, by this okay? A zombie. a zombie. Okay, we've got a, an echo again. Is it gone? It looks like it's gone. Okay, we're, we're going to read a little section, a little part that talks about what a philosophical zombie is. Okay, um, let me grab this link. I don't know. I think this was the link that I shared. So this right here. Is that what I shared on, on the lesson, I believe so? Yeah, so that, that's a, let's go ahead and read what it has to say about that is, okay? So, um, can you, everyone read my screen, okay? Yeah, I want to read. Perfect, okay. Maria, could you read this, uh, this um, paragraph for us? Okay, a philosophical zombie or peace zombie is a hypothetical entity that looks and behaves exactly like a human often stipulated to be a atom by atom identical to a human to be uh, to, but is not actually con conscious a peace zombie is as likely as anyone else to ask when I see red do I see the same color than you see when you see red but, but they have no real experience of the color red the zombies speech can be explained in some other terms which do not require them to have real experiences. The zombie thought experiment is purported to show that conscientious to show that conscientious consciousness cannot be reduced to merely phys physical things. Or universe is purported purported to perhaps have a special Bringing laws which evoke a mind into existence when there are atoms in a suitable brain-like configuration. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you guys. Um, any questions on any of these words here before I explain it? What is purported? Purported, purported. Okay, good. So purported, right? Does anyone know what purported is? It's from the right. purpose. Not not purpose exactly. As a claim. Claim, yeah, yeah. Claim would be good, yeah. So put forth or explained or declaimed as having. Good, yes. Good. So here's the thing. Our universe is claimed to perhaps have laws. Good. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so no other questions? So let me go ahead and explain what this is saying, okay? So, um, Manal, thank you for coming. Um, we might um, say that when we talk about what it is to be a human being, right, we could say that the world is, is always made out of, of physical things, right? And what there is is there may be something special about us, something special that makes us human rather than just having the shape of a human being, right? So again, we could say a spirit, that might be one way of explaining this, some of us may have a spirit or a soul, right? But there also could be other ways of explaining that it's not just my mind that makes me me. It's not just me having a brain that makes me me, there's something else, there's something special about me. 
So when we talk about a zombie, right, a philosophical zombie, what I'm saying is imagine, imagine me, okay, and um, you can see me, and I, I, I have this blue cap, right? You guys all see it, and you experience blue in your mind, right? Now, maybe me, maybe I'm a zombie, okay, and I will say that this is blue, I will respond that this is blue, but I have no conscious experience that this is blue. So inside of me, nothing is seeing blue, like maybe inside of you, something is seeing blue. Okay. So part of what this is is to say, how do I know that you are a human being? How do I know that you have a conscious experience just like me? Do you feel pain in the same way as I do? Do you feel pain at all? Maybe you just respond, right? So if you hit me in the face, right, I'll go, ow, but maybe I don't really feel pain, I just respond. Does that make sense? No. Really? Okay. <laughs> it's not make sense. It and I make don't sense. believe that people, uh, uh, people exist in that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Like, don't feel pain, don't... Mm -hmm. I, I, I know some people that can't distinguish the, the colors, mm -hmm. but but don't feel pain or don't feel, how do you say, shame or any mm -hmm. any emotion is quite difficult, I think. Right. No, maybe it's not about that, but uh, concerning emotions, that they are not the same in every person. So, emotional zombie, if I well understood, it's like um, some kind of agnostic uh, who always doubts. Uh, okay. Let me try to explain this better because I think I'm, I'm leading everyone off on the wrong track here. Um, okay. Think of a robot. Okay, Let's say that I'm a robot. I'm a completely built robot, right? And that's how come I have the robot voice sometimes, right? It's because I am a robot. Um, now, again, I can act just like a human being, but inside of me, maybe I'm not, right? If you thought of a robot, what, what would be the... Yeah, I changed a robot. <laughs> what would be the difference between a robot that looks like a human being, so an android, and a real person be? What would the difference be? Only in, in his perception of himself. Okay. Right, so again, what I'm saying... A philosophical zombie, that's exactly what I'm saying, right? Is just imagine someone that does not have experience of themselves. They act exactly like that, right? But exactly that. So, um, okay. yes. So th that makes sense to everyone? Yeah, but uh, is this a philosophy class or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Maybe even too much. <laughs> yes. So... We're going to talk about this just for a little bit of time because it's a philosophy term and it's kind of fun. And then we're going to talk about real zombies, okay? So, That's cool. Yes. So we are going to talk about it a little bit, though, because it's important and it's fun, okay? So what my question is, is, um, is, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> is what, what makes... Yes, yeah, so what, what would be the difference between a perfectly made robot and a human being, right? What would be the difference between a zombie and a real human being? So how do you guys know that I'm not a, a zombie? How do you know that I'm not a robot? Only uh, his um, him per perception, self-perception, okay. how he perceives about uh, himself. I, I analyze, I... Reflect. I am able to. I don't know uh, to think about my actions. And uh, robot is just a program. Okay. So he. Okay. So again, I, I, if, if I can think about myself, like if I can analyze my own thoughts, then I'm then I'm a human being. Yes. First services. Then you have yeah. emotions. Okay, um, Calvin, you were gonna say something. Oh no, I I wasn't. Uh, I didn't hear you. What what you said? Um, okay. Can you say that again, please. Yes. Yeah, so, what would be the difference between me and a perfect robot be? Let's just let's just make it simple. Let's say a robot rather than yeah. a zombie. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you have conscious experience. 
Okay, you so have sentious. Sen sentient? Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm sentient. I'm sentient. Yeah. Okay. And you have qualia. Qualia, perfect. Yes, so I, I have a sense of experience. Okay. Um, so here's my question. If Could I even make a perfect robot that would turn out to be human? So if I was able to make a brain, let's say I can make a brain, okay, and I can make a human being, right? Um, let's even say, like, I got Frankenstein. Do you guys, everyone knows what Frankenstein is? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's say I made a Frankenstein and I zapped him and he came alive. Could I really do that in real life? Is that a possibility? Mm -mm. No, nope. why? Because you can't um, put in him all the programs, uh, if we can say so, our senses. Uh, our our emotions and such things, our reactions, uh, our reflections. So it's impossible. Okay. Like like a translator, we have many um, many tra many different translators, uh, prompt Google Translator and many others. But anyway, even if they even if they pay attention. If the creators paid attention on morphology, uh, morphology on syntaxes and on a uh, combination of words, um, without a real in inter interpreter, without a real translator, okay, sorry, it's Chris, impossible Chris, you, you to cut get out a bit. Uh, Re repeat that last part again. Um, I told that without a really qualified translator, the real person, it's impossible to translate things as it should be. It's impossible to um, uh, to uh, to make the sense of uh, if it's a novel. It's impossible to uh, tr transmit 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 transmit. Transmit the the main idea, the the emotional moments, because it's only machines and they can't. And about robots, the same, I guess. Okay. You, uh, Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, oh, okay. Do, do you have Do you have an uh, um, an answer for this question, or do you have a, a definitive <laughs> answer for this question? No. No, okay. we don't. We don't do that in philosophy. Answers are for suckers. So. <laughs> he was going to, to ask. So why do you torture us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it it would be possible to create a perfect robot or a philosophical. It's called a philosophical zombie. Okay? <laughs> it would be possible because that's what artificial <laughs> technology are for. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm just guessing. This is my personal opinion. No, I'm I, not I sure think, about it. Okay, so you think that, again, maybe if I was able to perfectly put together kind of this brain, you know, just make it up out of, with my technology, then it would become alive and it would be a person, right? It would experience yes. things. So you basically created a life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, Calvin thinks it's possible. Does anyone else think that would be possible? Who likes a crap asks like only one question. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think that it's impossible to create the enough connections between the neurons mm -hmm. to to how do you say to invent a perfect brain. Okay. I think that uh, even even we uh, aren't uh, how do you say even we uh, have uh, haven't no the 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 brain totally mm -hmm. the brain in a in a totally way way so is I think that is impossible that even the human being uh, don't understand the the brains the brain the brain how do you say the brain function maybe right. if you can if you want to rip, uh, how do you say you want if you want to imitate uh, the 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 brain behavior is impossible. Okay, so we, we would never be able to, do, to to create everything that would be as no, complex. No, no. Okay. But okay. if you want to do it, 
<laughs> Maybe you wanted to create such a robot. <laughs> keep on doing. <laughs> like human, uh, human, human robots. No. Okay, so let's go to Shiana. Let's go to Shiana. Shiana was going to say something, and then I would cut her off. Who, oh, sorry, me? Yes, you, you were going to say something? Okay, yeah, and no, I was just, um, I just wanted to say that maybe something in between is possible, like uh, to create something, some robot that maybe has a human looking, for example, because I've seen some replicas like in, made in Japan, I think, or somewhere else in the world where they're using this uh, human-like, looking like robots for like um, things like advertisements because they're cheaper uh -huh. than actual people, but then I don't think that it's going to be that human beings are likely to someday ever kind of create a robot which is 100% like a, like a human being mm -hmm. um, because it's very complex. You can, I don't, I was thinking maybe even if you put a human brain inside a machine then the whole body is a machine so it, it wouldn't all its perceptions would be fictions, right? So, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, it's, so it's, it's a complex issue. <laughs> for sure, for sure, right. And so yeah. I, I wonder what you guys think. So yeah. I, let, maybe if we go back to the, the Frankenstein example. So let's say, again, I'm I'm pulling body parts together. I actually have a, heel, a real human brain. I have a real human body, and I zap it alive, right? <laughs> will, will it be a person, or, or will it be... A zombie? Will it be a robot? Will there be a real person inside? You know what? Um, sorry again. Uh, because the problem there, I think, is where do we place our soul if we believe that there is one? Mm -hmm. Because if we think that we as human beings are in the brain, mm -hmm. then as long as you have a brain, then it's fine. You know, you can replicate uh, maybe everything, or you can get close to that. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you think that we we are made of flesh, bones, and the soul, which is you know the source of our choices and of our feelings and all other sorts of things, then it's it's quite difficult then. Because right. how do you recreate that? Mm -hmm. That's a good point. So again, if we believe in a spirit or a soul, that might be a different thing, right? And if, yeah. Maybe if you don't. Okay. Good. Um, let's see. I think Adrian, were you going to say something, Adrian? Maybe not. Okay. Any other thoughts? Uh, I, oh, it's Antonio. Sorry. Yes, Antonio, go ahead. Uh, I, w I was thinking that uh, it's it's weird in, the, in this conversation uh, that uh, nobody in this situation uh, uh, has uh, thinking in the film Blade Runner <laughs> because you are you are describing. Uh, the problem, the philosophical problem in this film, in Blade Runner, I mean. In, in, in uh, what movie? Blade Runner. Oh, Blade Runner. I, okay, I've never seen it. What, what, what do they kind of explain in that? Yeah, it's a, it's a film of the 18 with Harrison Ford. It's a, uh, there is a, a droid or a robot like a person. Mm -hmm. Exactly like a person, and <clears throat> uh, they put inside in his brain uh, remembers. Or, so this this uh, these people uh, think they are person, mm -hmm. and there there are other persons that uh, uh, hunt these people when the, uh, they they don't obey the human being. Okay, interesting, interesting. I, I'll have to look up this movie, Blade Runner, you said? Yes, it's a, it's a classic uh, of uh, Ridley Scott. Okay, I'll look it up here. Okay, <laughs> is, any, any other thoughts? Could we, could I really have a Frankenstein? Why do Sorry? you, uh, what do you think? What, what do I think? Yeah. Um, I guess first of all, are you, are you an atheist? I, I don't want to talk about as far as like religious beliefs, right? But um, on a philosophical level, I think that 
I couldn't I couldn't have either a computer like or a, a, um, a perfect machine or even a Frankenstein that could ever be a human experience, right? So I, I think I think again I might be able to create something that could respond perfectly, right? But I don't know if I would say that deep inside them they are actually experiencing the same things that I experience. So right again, so just like I said in the beginning, maybe I could have a machine that I would show them this and they would say, that is blue, right? But they inside would not experience blue. That that would be my opinion, my take. But I wanna yeah. know about you guys. You guys are explaining your opinions in English. Yeah. Right? So, any other thoughts? Uh, I, I have a question. Okay. Go, go ahead, my dear. I have a question. Uh, when you talk about the robot, I mm -hmm. can imagine like a soul ship or a emotion ship to introduce in a, in a robot. It's quite difficult. And another idea is if you want to 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 create a robot, how you can how you can decide. What kind of emotion you can you can introduce in the in the rob in the robot because every person is different. So the robot was uh, would be like a subjective robot. You can you can const uh, you can build a like a objective robot with uh, with all the emotions with mm -hmm. all the emotion in the human being. So it would be like a impossible task, I think. Okay. Okay. Good. Good question. Yes. Yeah, so, um, can I go ahead, Antonio? Yes, I, I was thinking that uh, 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 we we think that we are unique, um, and mm -hmm. our emotions are very complex. Mm -hmm. But perhaps there are no so complex. Perhaps we are more like the machine, mm -hmm. and the machine uh, are making by 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 us. <coughs> in the machine, um, every day is more like the human being. So I think it's not uh, very unusual or difficult uh, to think that in the future uh, we can make uh, a person, a fake person, okay, but the same, the, the robot can feel the same that the person. Because uh, <coughs> the person is not uh, so unique, I think. Mm -hmm. So a person, a person isn't as unique as they think. So maybe we really could create a an android or or you know a, a perfect machine, right? Yes, yes, I think so. I, I think uh, the emotions uh, are uh, more. There are rules that. Uh, mm, that's uh, I don't know. Right. That's, uh, uh, and what rules, about the emotion are, are rules? Sorry. Chris, sorry, you missed something. Yes, yeah, sorry for disturbing. But what about animals? Uh, they were cloned. The ships, Dolly, was cloned. It was. Successful, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, so ships have no uh, mind, have no emotion. That, that's, a, that's a really good question there, Chris. I think that brings up a couple good things here. Again, if I was to clone myself, right, and let's say that somehow I could speed along the growth to where my second me grows up but just as fast as I, right, um, and I have two Eric's, right, two Eric's, okay, um, is the second Eric, right, is he going to experience the same person? So again, here's, here's my second Eric right there, right? So I have two Eric's, right? Um, now, will the second Eric be the same thing as me? Will it be the same thing as me or will it be different? Even if it has the same kind of brain, same kind of personality, is it still, is it the same thing of me or is it a different thing? It's a different thing. Okay, why? It be the same because uh, in all, all the time the brain it uh, is uh, creating new connections. Mm 
<laughs> between neurons, so your connections uh, would would not equal to to the other you connections <laughs> because you are you uh, at I don't know maybe if you can if you can uh, think the same at the same time maybe you will be uh, you will have an identical Eric but <laughs> if if you if you think another different uh, thought maybe you can't be equal uh, to your your clone okay so no, it should be the same it should be your life as after as if um, your clone would be created after your death <laughs> I don't wish you that but if it would be created after it so he would repeat completely your life all the moments of your life as I guess because he's he would be a clone. So, uh, if he would be created um, at the same time uh, as you exist, uh, so he would make the same things as you. Give gives the same reactions as you give. So he would be completely the same. That's why he is a clone. And if he would, so I guess it's the same. It should be the same. Okay. So let, let me ask it a, a different way here. Okay, let's let's pretend okay, that I have a machine, okay, that I can walk through this machine and it makes a perfect clone of me, right? So I walk through the machine and I get an absolute new Eric, right? But as I walk through the machine, it kills the old Eric, right? So the old Eric is now killed as he walks through the machine, he's zap, he's gone, right? But it creates a clone of a new Eric, okay? Now, this second Eric, is that me? Or is that a different Eric? No, it's not you. It's not me. Why? It, even if it's exactly the same, same neuron, same everything. Because it, it's another... Sorry? Keep, keep going, Shara. Go uh, ahead. Because it's another, it's another person is different from you, so you're not going to experience what he, is, what he will be experiencing after you died. Okay. Right? So you won't have any... I mean, you end in the machine, and he starts when he leaves the machine, when he exits the machine. So, because I don't know, it's kind of you will be you as Eric will be dead, mm -hmm. and the other Eric will be will probably act just like you and make the same choices as Chris was saying, and uh, but that wouldn't be you. Okay. How can you, because it's a different body, it's a different brain, it's a different everything, it's brand new, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, but to, if, if I was your friend, I would think that is you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, but uh, to, to the died Eric, maybe it's a different person, but to other people it might be the same one, because uh, they kind of have a, a, a totally identical body and brain yeah, yeah, yeah. doing things that the choice they're going to make is doesn't make any difference. So would, would the new Eric, would he think that he's Eric or would he think that he's something else? Something else? If, if all he, he knows... He's Eric. Yeah, for all he knows he's you, so he will think he's you. He will think he's Eric, yes. But he's a yes. fake. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe. Uh, Antonio, Antonio, you were going to say something? Yes, I, I was thinking that it's, it's, uh, that's what uh, you are talking about. It's like the the paradox in the in teletransportation machine. Mm -hmm. In a teletransportation machine, like Star Trek or all these movies, all the atoms are divided and uh, is uh, in another place or the atoms uh, will be joined again mm -hmm. so if if somebody uh, this uh, in, try this machine for for first place is the first person <laughs> uh, you are the first person you you in, in this machine because this machine is disintegrating disintegrating you and integrating in another place, <laughs> and you you think your conscious uh, will continue in the other in the other you? 
Well, that, that's, that's a really good point, there, Antonio. Again, so again, maybe it's not a, a cloning machine, but it's a teleportation machine, right? Again, it destroys everything, takes all the molecules apart here, and then puts them all together here, right? And so no Eric here, but Eric here. And I, I suddenly I've just changed the name. I've said this is a teleportation machine, not a cloning machine. Is it different? Even if it destroyed everything here to recreate everything here. You think you are not destroying it? But what if we just, just so again, you're saying that maybe we're just moving, we're moving the molecules? Yes, but yes, when you are, you are moving the, the, the molecular, you are disintegrating the, 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 the person. Perhaps in the other machine, uh, no, I don't know, uh, the, the recreation. Uh, Oh, it's, uh, Antonio is fine. It's Calvin that needs to uh, be muted. Calvin, I, I want you to keep yourself on mute unless you're speaking because you're getting echo. So um, go ahead and finish, Antonio. You're going to have to unmute yourself. Sorry, what? Go ahead and continue speaking. You got cut off there. I wanna, what, did, what else were you saying? Oh, uh, uh, only this. Uh, I was thinking that... Uh, in this type uh, of machine, this kind of machine, mm -hmm. the person is destroyed in, in, fifth, in fifth place mm -hmm. and recreated in the other place. So, is, is the same person, your conscious, uh, like uh, I, I told before, your conscience uh, will be continuing in the other person? Mm -hmm. And how you can, uh, uh, you can know this, because if you are the assigned uh, uh, that make this machine. <laughs> how you can, how you can uh, measure that it's the same person, or, or is different. Right. Yeah. Because maybe, maybe I had, might have a machine that would say, it "Looks like everything that was there before is there." Right. So his liver is still there. His brain's still there. Every molecule is is the same when I put it back together. Even all the neurons in his brain are. are this exact same way, and then we could say, is, is he still the same person? Right. Okay. Yes, yes, this is a bunny. Yeah, okay. Um, any other um, comments on this? Any other ideas? Yes, I have I go ahead, my dear. something yeah, go uh, ahead, my dear. about the teletransportation and the clones. I think that uh, you you aren't only like brain or your body or your thoughts. You have a, an experience, a life experience. So uh, the human being is composed uh, about the experience and the genetics or and the, your your brain. So mm -hmm. if your clone uh, would exist, it uh, it will have an, a different life than you. So. <laughs> It will be. It will. Uh, he will be different. Different too, because maybe he he will he would have your same brain and your say and your same way to act. Right. But uh, the experience uh, uh, aren't aren't the same. So, but I guess again, with the, the same, let's say you walk through the cloning machine, it destroys the old. Yeah, but the new. yeah, 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 exactly. So, but what, how would, what experience would he have, because he's brand, brand new, that would be different? He would have all my old memories. Yeah, but uh, I don't, uh, I, I think that maybe he, he, ha he would have like a backup the, of your life, like, mm -hmm. a, like a copy. Okay, but, okay. But he never, he have never experienced that. Okay. So uh, for me, uh, he uh, it isn't life because life is is what you are experienced. Experience mm -hmm. uh, would you would you have experienced? Mm -hmm. So 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 uh, maybe he 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 would have like a backup, but he will be like a empty table, like when when experience will be writing his own. His own, how do you say, his own theory or his own part of life? Okay. So, I guess, so you would say, Maria, that there's, 
there would be something new about the way he experiences things. Yeah. That, so the new Eric would not be the same as the old Eric because it'd be something special about the way he experiences things. Yeah, even, exactly. even though all his genes and all everything in his brain is exactly the same. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. interesting. Good, good. Okay. Um, Can I say? Go, go ahead, Chris. So, if uh, it's uh, we who create these clones, we can choose or we will give them our your experience of your life or we don't do that so if it, it's uh, as it can't exist in reality I can give to my clone uh, exactly the same life as you uh, as you um, as you have mm -hmm. and uh, Maria she, uh, she can give to her clone uh, the the life as she presented. Mm -hmm. So we are free to to imagine these clones um, as we as we wish, because there is now any clones in reality, and it's not so possible to create it. But I guess, um, and so in this case, uh, we 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 can't stand on one position. For example, as um, she partic particular does uh, that the clone can't have the the same life as you have and such things. I guess as it's imagine thing, mm -hmm. we can we can give it no matter how result, no matter how life. Okay, so we I didn't quite understand that last part. Say that again, Chris. Um. I said that we can imagine these clones mm -hmm. who don't exist in reality mm -hmm. as we wish. For example, my clone, as I uh, understand the cloning, the cloning, mm -hmm. I understand it as the complete copy of a uh, personal of personal life of of your attitudes of your. Uh, emotions of your intentions of your feelings of everything of you mm -hmm. so if he is the complete copy of you so mm -hmm. he would uh, in my in my reality he would act exactly as you do and would he be though would he be me or would he be something else um, yes he uh, if it's uh, a good clone, he would be you, okay. and if it's a bad one, he would be I don't know what without <laughs> senses, uh, oh. without senses, without something. Uh, so if if something um, if he doesn't have something from you, mm -hmm. so he is not your clone. Clone is uh, the when all particles of you is <laughs> in him. So if the if each particle of you, uh, each, I don't know the words I need, <laughs> each... So each like, atom, each molecule is... Yes, okay. if, it's, if he completely repeated you, mm -hmm. so he will be completely you. So he will live completely your life, he mm -hmm. will act completely as you, and so I guess like this, and if he... Uh, and he, if he is like a um, blanket sheet, mm -hmm. so he, he, he is not your clone. He's something similar, or he resembles you a lot, okay. or he... Well, okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, so let me, let me ask one more question here. Um, again, I don't, I don't want to get religious here, but let's, let's just, for example, let's... Let's say we all have souls, okay? So we all have souls, okay? And that's what makes us us, right? So the new clone can't be me because it doesn't have my soul, okay? Now, let's pretend, okay, let's just imagine, let's say God had a soul cloning machine, right? So God takes your soul and he completely destroys it. It's gone and then recreates your soul completely and puts it back in your body. So he's to take your soul, he destroys it, and makes a brand new one and puts it back in your body. 
Okay. Would that be the same you? Nope. No. no. Because their experience would would be different. Would be different. The soul is mo modeling. Okay. Is model mm -hmm. is modeling by the experience. Your soul is uh, your soul in each time is diff is if is different because you have experienced different things like uh, I don't know like a death of a friend like a crush I don't know maybe you're a girlfriend uh, fall in love of some uh, with somebody something like that. And if the soul are formed with emotion and with an experience and the clone. Uh, has the the same experience as a real person, so his soul will be the same, or how then? So they will have the yeah. same soul because they will have the same experience, the same everything. So the same soul. So what is it? Okay, Shadow, you want to say something? No, I just wanted to say that um, I don't think that a person's soul is entirely shaped by it their experience because um, I think it's um, there's an interaction between a person's experience and their own personality and view of life so I think there's um, an exchange there it's not entirely uh, you know depending on uh, this person's experiences because yeah, that would be too simple, you know, from my point of view. But um, also, what I agree with Maria with what she said before about when you create a clone of yourself, mm -hmm. this clone has a backup. This clone has, you know, it comes to life with the, your own experience, with the memory, you know, mm -hmm. with the perception of having been you. But from that moment onwards, I think that he turns into a different human being because, because of this, because he or she is going to make to experience life in a different way from you because you won't be able to be in the same place at the same time 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, right? So let's say one morning you wake up at 10 in a sunny day and he's somewhere else and he wakes up at 7 and I don't know, maybe um, runs into somebody new and has a completely different day from the day that you have and that is going to shape his personality if we want to talk about personality or his soul in a wider, you know, um, view. So from, I think that from that moment onwards you are going to become two different uh, persons. Like for example, my father, he has an identical twin. But they're completely different. Okay, that's another another topic but you know they different people but they look alike and I mm -hmm. you know myself I couldn't I can't tell which one is which from their pictures from when they were young but I can definitely mm -hmm. say that they're two different human beings with uh, two different lives so yeah that's nothing okay, that's okay. Nice. I think that that's a good that's a good point there again because we might, we might have twins that they can have the same genes. They can even be raised very, very closely, but they could still yeah. definitely be different. And we, again, we might want to say, what makes them different, right? Is it is it something that you know the different experiences that they experience each day will slowly make them different, or is there something different about them from from their birth, right, from day one, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, you guys. Unfortunately, um, I want to close. Finish this up here so you guys can get to the classes. Um, any last questions? Okay. Awesome, you guys. I, I hope this was enjoyable talking about the philosophical zombies in this. Um, uh, if, Eric, if you, go ahead, Maria. Another day, you can't, you, uh, we can't talk about the... I, it's, like a, it's like a type of zombie, but when other people uh, do, domain the person? Oh, so kind of, yeah, I wanted you to tell me more about the, the Haitian zombies here, so maybe after in the yeah, class you can... Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a voodoo, maybe I will post you something about it in the in your uh, Facebook page? Yeah, or, or we can do this, um, Maria, I'm gonna, I, will, I will end the broadcast and then people that want to go to the other class can go to the other class, and if you want, okay. you can stay after and, and tell me about it, unless you want to go to the other class and then you can just post something if you want. Okay, okay. Okay, so again, here's, here's um, my link to my Facebook page if you guys want to make any suggestions or if you want to complain or whatever needs to be done. 
Um, thank you guys for coming. You guys were awesome. And I will see you guys later, okay? Thanks. See you.